All right, guys, so let's look at how we would create a free code camp account so that we can practice uh, our HTML and CSS. So all we need to do is we just need to go to freecodecamp.org. Okay, you could do that by doing a Google search. Um, say I was just here and I type free code camp. That will pop up. I can go ahead and click or I can click in the link in the class. Once you're there, you're just clicking on this yellow button right here to get started. Okay, um, and the easiest way that I would say is to continue with your Google account. So it's going to try to match. Um, select your school account. Use that to create your accounts. Once you're done, it should um, have your name or give you an account setup page for you guys to set up your accounts. Um, now you can further go into your accounts and go into the settings to be able to change some things. Um, I like night mode. Um, you can go in here and you can actually put your name that you're wanting to use um, and turn on night mode on or off. And then once you're done, you need to make sure that you are saving your stuff. Okay, so once you make any changes that you're going to do, you want to make sure that the changes have been updated. So you can, if it doesn't, you can go ahead and click the save. So if I was changing my name to Mr. Walters, I need to make sure that I am clicking the save. Okay. So I go ahead and click the save and it will let us know that we updated. Okay. Now we can go back to our selections for our classes by just clicking on the free code camp right here and it will go to current challenges. Now most of the work that we are going to be doing in this class is going to be in the responsive web design certification. If we click on that, the first one that we have is basic HTML and HTML5, and then we have uh, CSS, visual design, accessibility, um, and different CSS topics. Okay, so most of the time that we're going to be spending is just in these first two is in our HTML and our CSS. Okay, so once you're ready to go in, you can go ahead and just click on the challenge that you want to go to read the description. The description is telling you what's happening. Usually gives you an example on the left hand side of what you need to do um, to be successful. And then here is the actual challenge. It is telling you what to do for your challenge. To pass the test in this challenge, change your H1 element text to say hello world. If you don't know what a, the H1 element is, chances are you did not read this very Thoroughly. Okay, so go back and read that. Um, make the changes and then you run the tests. Okay, if you're having issues and it's definitely not working, go ahead and reset all code. But you also have this get help feature. So if you think you're pretty close, so I'm like writing my code and I'm like, uh, hello world and I'm making some mistakes and I run my tests and it does not pass. It says your H1 element should have the text hello world and this did not pass. I can go to the get help, maybe get a hint and see what some people are saying about the H1 element for it to say hello world. Okay, and then I can click back in here. Maybe I might need to reread this and check my that my opening and my closing tags for the H1 element makes sense. Um, if I completely botched up my code, I can just reset the lesson. Okay, so now I see, hey, here's the opening tag for um, my H1. Here's the closing tag for my H1. Now I can see um, that that is correctly done. Now I look down here to the challenge. I need my H element my h1 elements text to say hello world so i make that change so this says hello i need to say hello world hello world when i think i have it i go ahead and run the test and i get this okay this is one of the things that i would like you guys to take a screenshot of okay so um, you would attach each one of these to let me know that you have done the, ch the challenge. So here's one place that you could do it. Um, you could take this screenshot. You can also take it when we're in the curriculum page to show that you have that checked off. 
Okay, so this is showing that you have got the um, this challenge. You can go ahead and um, take a screenshot of this using the snipping tool or um, taking a screenshot if you're on a MacBook. All right, good luck. Have fun.